You know, teaching for me is it's quite a sacred act uh, because whatever you say makes a difference in the other person. So you have to be really mindful of how you approach, how you understand that student, how you can relate to each and every one of them individually and take them to the, help them get uh, to the next level. And then also do it collectively as a whole class, you know, as a learning community. It has its challenges, but it's a very, very gratifying thing to do, to see that transformation in them, like it happened for me. Merhaba, benim adım Harinder Kalsa. Yaklaşık 20-25 yıldır Oregon Üniversitesi'nde İtalyanca öğretmenliği yapıyorum. Ankara'da doğdum, büyüdüm. Şimdi Eugene'de yaşıyorum. Ciao a tutti, uh, io sono Harender Calza, vivo a Eugene da circa 20-25 anni e insegno l'italiano all'Università dell'Oregon. Sono nata e cresciuta in Turchia, ad Ankara, e ora vivo a Eugene. Well, you know, learning a foreign language uh, led me to travel, which led me to come here and do this interview with you. Uh, it's been a completely life-changing experience. Uh, through my travels, through my studies in Italian, I was able to meet people from all over the world and uh, really see, you know, Italian was a uniting factor for all of us who were studying in Italy. Uh, but that showed me that, you know, what we laugh at, what we cry for is not very different. We're all human beings. But if we cannot find that common ground, which for me was Italian, uh, it's difficult to see that and um, make an effort to understand each other. Turkish and Italian are a little closer to each other because uh, they share the Mediterranean culture. Uh, of course, they have their differences, but English is a completely different world. And depending on the situation, I find myself thinking in different languages that I know and finding different uh, ways to solve uh, the situation I'm facing. So it, in a sense, I have three different personalities, three different ways of looking at things. and also processing things emotionally. You know, lots of things that can motivate you to learn a different language and I hope you find your own motivation and pursue that no matter what uh, kind of degree you're seeking uh, because you're going to go out in the world and interact with people in the global society we live in now. Uh, it's not possible to confine yourself to one language, one city, one way of looking at things and the, the more you learn, the more you understand uh, other people, how they think, what motivates them, the closer the world will come together.